Hi, my name is Roland, and here in our resort in Thailand, we are trying to generate and use as much from our own PV power as possible. And for that we have uh, several uh, solar systems. Most of it is grid type, but we also have an off-grid system. And because we are here in a relatively low-wage uh, country, the electricity is not that expensive and I have to import uh, most of the equipment anyways. So we have to also look uh, for the costs a little bit. So normally I'm using Chinese tier 2 equipment which I uh, order straight from Alibaba uh, directly from a company, from a manufacturer. But uh, in one case which we are talking about today and which I will show you also at the car park. I had to just use simple e equipment which I bought from AliExpress. And for that system it's only four panels. Uh, a little bit of challenge because of shadowing. I needed uh, microinverters. And microinverters, you typically only connect one or two panels on them. And that makes them actually quite cost inefficient. Uh, so I went for this Chinese type of microinverters, the WVC series. They're very cheap, I think one of them only costs around $70, including the shipping to here. But, uh, of course, sometimes cheap stuff is really not good. I never have trouble with the equipment which I ordered, but this one, unfortunately not. So, let me show you the system quickly and then about the inverter what is the what was the problem and why you actually never should buy one of these. One of my three phases uh, did not have any solar system on it so I found a place here at the car park uh, above which one there is the off-grid system and so I added four panels but because of the shadowing situation I have one uh, power pole here and another one with a transformer right there there's uh, almost no situations where there's no shadow passing over these panels that's why I thought okay best idea would be to use micro inverters so I bought those uh, inverters which could fit two panels each and I split it up these four uh, to those two inverters now it's of course only one string inverter here anymore and it's good enough too so these are two, the two inverters maybe some of you might know it these are the WVC 600 so you can fit two uh, 300 watt panels and this is how it looks from inside it's a clean build but it seems to have uh, quite a lot of design problems. So this year I in particular the DC uh, MOSFETs and they do not stand the time. When I got them I improved them a little bit so I added on um, both sides I added extra heating to help a little bit with our hot temperatures but yeah, it did not help me too much. After one year, exactly one year, uh, both of these failed on the same same malfunctions of both had uh, shorted DC MOSFETs after I have uh, replaced those shorted MOSFETs it worked for one day exactly one day and then the same thing happened again so probably maybe uh, some issue also with the gate drivers or what so my recommendation do not buy this uh, type of inverters the quality is just too terrible it's just a waste of money, really. Okay, so thank you for watching today's video. So if you're interested in uh, solar systems in hot climates and building of a power wall, etc. Please check my other videos on my channel. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. You can uh, subscribe to my channel. It's always nice to have new followers. And if you also like please uh, leave a comment. i see you next time.